Hey guys, it's me, Funk Shares, and I'm back with another review today. Today I'm doing a mod showcase of Greg's SD Craft. I'll be showing you all the items, everything about them, all the crafting recipes, and every block added, and basically everything about the mod. So let's just hop right in this with the crafting recipes. First crafting recipe is the Stargate Chevron upgrade, which will, I will explain everything and what everything does later on. It's made with two glowstone dust, an acrylic alloy, and get two ender pearls and two redstone. If you don't understand where they go, look at the screen. Next is a Stargate base, which is two al Nakoda alloy ingots, an eye of ender, two chiseled sandstone, one redstone, two smooth sandstone, and one Stargate core crystal. Next is the Stargate ring block, which is a three chiseled sandstone, three Nakoda alloy ingots, three smooth sandstone. Next is the Nakoda alloy block, which is made from nine Nakoda alloy ingots. Next is the Stargate iris blade, which is four iron ingots a char and a piece of charcoal. Next is the Stargate controller. Three buttons, four obsidian, ender pearl, and one ender pearl, and a Stargate controller crystal. The Stargate Iris upgrade is made with eight Stargate Iris blades surrounding a redstone dust. Next is the Stargate Chevron black block. Not black. It's not black. It's blue. Kind of. <laughs> it is made with two chiseled sandstone, a glowstone dust, two natural alloy ingots, an ender pearl, two smooth sandstone, and a redstone. Those are all of the crafting recipes that are added, except for one thing. The Nakoda alloy ingot is made by one Nakoda is made by one iron ingot and one Nakoda. Now let's go on with the blocks. The Stargate ring blocks are all the necessities to creating your Stargate. Uh, the Stargate is built in this pattern. You need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You need seven stargate chevron blocks and you need two four six eight stargate ring blocks and you need one stargate base you place them in this pattern basically going stargate chevron block stargate ring stargate chevron stargate ring and so on until you've made an entire circle the final block that you should place that i like to place it's cooler is the stargate base and you place it right in the middle there and you have your stargate now the Stargate is a cool device that allows you to teleport from one Stargate to another by dialing an address into your DHD. The DHD, is, or the Stargate controller in this mod, is what dials the Stargate to another Stargate. How you use it is it needs to be placed five blocks, either one higher or one lower than the Stargate base block, and you know it's connected to the Stargate if the center is orange. To use the Stargate and the, and the DHD, you need to power both of them first. To power them, you need to, well, you don't power the gate, you, par you power the, the DHD, which then transfers power to the Stargate ring block, to the Stargate. Yeah. You right click this gray square on the DHD, and you place your fuel. Fuel in this is Nakoda. The more Nakoda, the longer you can hold the gate open, and the further distance you can travel. If you dial if you dial a gate in a different dimension, you'll use more Nakoda. If you dial a gate and hold it open for 20 minutes, it'll use more Nakoda. If you dial a gate that's two blocks away, it'll barely use any Nakoda. If you dial a gate that's 17 million blocks away, it'll use a ton of Nakoda. The it there's a bunch of var variables of how much fuel it uses. Okay. Next is the Nakoda alloy block, which is just basically a decorative block and a storage block for the Nakoda alloy ingot. To make the Nakoda alloy ingot, you do the iron ingot with Nakoda, and to get Nakoda, you mine the Nakoda ore, which can be found underneath lava, or it's found most commonly underneath lava, and it's found rarely in other places, but it can be found in other places. Okay, n now we're going to talk about dialing. To dial a gate in the same dimension, you only need to enter seven digits, but when you're dialing a gate for in a different dimension, you need to enter nine digits. And how you figure out the address of the gate that you want to dial is you have to go up to the gate, you right click it, and it'll tell you the address. See, because it's in the same dimension as our other gate over there at our mod review place, we only have to enter these first seven digits. If we were in, let's say, the nether, you'd also have to enter SA at the end. So let us go back over here, and we'll dial up that gate. Make sure we have power, we have power and fuel in our Stargate controller. Click here, and it was the M A O one one nine three dial. 
And as you see, it does a super cool spinning maneuver, and it has a sound. It's kind of hard to hear it, because I have to have my volume down, sorry. If you can hear it fine, then perfect. <laughs> there's, so, there's so much suspense. Giant explosion of water! Yay! And as you see, that one also got dialed, and we can go through. Boom! And we enter at the other place. To see if it was, and we enter at the other Stargate. If it was in a different dimension, that would not work, and we'd have to enter SA to um, complete it. So then, now we end, end this, so right click it, press that, that will end the dialing sequence, or it'll end the dialing sequence if you're dialing and you don't want to continue dialing, and it'll also end the, end the uh, portal if it's already open. Um, next, I'm going to show you all the items. There are plenty of upgrades that you can do for the Stargate. Um, like the Stargate Iris upgrade. The Stargate Iris upgrade, you just shift, right click, and boom, there you go. You have an Iris. I'm oh, wait, and also a cool fact that you can do uh, that is done is you just right click. Whenever you open this GUI of a Stargate, the Stargate code automatically gets copied into your clipboard. So that's a easy way to remember the different Stargate sequences because it will automatically get copied. See, this is EA, EAU, I, and if I open this up, paste, EAUI. So that's, that's really helpful. To activate the iris, it requires a redstone signal to the Stargate base block or the blocks adjacent to the Stargate base block. So as you see, I've set that up and right click, and the iris is activated. And any mobs, items, or players that go through the Stargate while the iris is closed, will be instantly killed and destroyed. So let's open that iris back up. Also, another thing is, if the when the stargate is dialed, it will emit a redstone signal. So what you could have is a siren that goes off whenever the uh, stargate opens up. So that whenever the stargate dials, so that'd be super cool. You can, something that you can do. The next upgrade is the stargate chevron upgrade. So the few it doesn't have to, but so the few of you that were like. Uh, Family, how are you supposed to dial nine? Uh, how are you supposed to dial nine chevrons to get to a different dimension if there's only seven chevrons on the Stargate? Oh, well, that's why you make this. You make this, and you right, and you shift right click the Stargate, and it adds an extra two chevrons onto it, so you can dial into a different dimension. And you have to, you have to make this, you have to make the Stargate chevron upgrade to be able to dial into different dimensions, and it has to be added onto the Stargate. Okie dokie. Now the next things on our list are the Stargate Controller Crystal and the Stargate Core Crystal. Oh, wait, 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 I forgot something. I forgot something. The Nakwido Ore can only be broken with a Diamond Pickaxe. Yep, that's what I forgot. Okay. Now you cannot obtain the Stargate Controller Crystal or the Stargate Core Crystal through normal means. You can't craft them. You have to find them. You can find them in dungeon chests, or you can buy them from a Tokra. <laughs> this is what a Tokra looks like. Tokra are found in. I'm pretty sure they're found in normal villages. Yeah. Okay. So if you see, he's he wants to trade us one diamond and eight emeralds for a Stargate Core Crystal, which I already did the trade to see what he would ask to trade next. And of course, it's the Stargate Controller Crystal. I don't know what he wants to trade next, and that's for you to find out by yourself. Okie dokie. That should be the end of it. But because we are the family crew, what we like to do is test out everything. So what I want to do is I want to dial this baby up and see what happens. See what we can throw through it, send through it, see whatever we can do through it. So I'm going to dial this other gate up. I can just... I should be able to just pay... Oh, wait. Oops. Hold on. <laughs> okay, we're dialing the gate up. And that, oh, just to show you over here. It's also dialing up right over here. And it does go to the uh, number or the letter that it was supposed to that we typed in. See this one dials up, and that one dials up as well. Um, I don't believe. Oh, it's a two-way portal. In the series, it's only a one-way port. It's only a one-way wormhole. Okay, the first thing we're gonna test to see if you can shoot a bow through it. So uh, let's see if we can hit ourselves. Thank you. Ooh. Wait, wait, wait. There it goes. 
You can shoot a bow through the portal. So that'd be super awesome. We Dawson's gate. Pew, pew, pew. See them on the left? That'd be amazing. Okay, okay. I don't know why this isn't working. But that should light up like a Christmas tree. Um, next, I'm going to be testing to see if you can throw eggs or snowballs through it. Yes, you can. How about snowballs? Yes, you can. Okie dokie. We're almost done. Now I'm going to test to see if... I'm going to test to see if you can throw a fishing rod through it. Oh, no. No, not, not yet. <laughs> I'm going to test to see if you can throw blocks through it. Blocks aren't on the other side. They're right there. There are the blocks. Now I'm going to test some things that I don't think anyone else would have ever thought of. I'm going to see if water can flow through the portal. This might turn off our portal. Water does not flow through the portal. So see, there's another thing that we have learned. Water does not flow through the portal. See, everyone's learning. <laughs> Everyone is learning. I am learning. You are learning. Next, <laughs> you probably noticed this in the beginning. I am going to test to see if you can launch TNT through the portal. So let's, uh... I don't think that's, I don't think that's how I want to do it. We're going to test to see if you can launch TNT through the portal. And you can! Amazing! That is awesome. You guys would have never known that unless I would have tested it, which I did. That's awesome. You could launch that into people's houses and bases and stuff, just blow them up. That's legit. That's like the best thing ever. Next, I'm going to test to see <laughs> if you can put a fishing rod through. Oh, crap. I'll be right back, guys. Sorry about that, guys. My game crashed. You probably just saw, like, a little bit of glitching around. Um, but I jumped. You probably just saw me jump. I, I jumped from one place to another. That's because my, uh... My Minecraft, my graphics driver just crashed. Need a better computer. But let's see what happens if a fishing rod can go through it. Last time I tried this, it crashed the game. So, uh, I'm going to try it last. That, yeah, makes sense. Um, next thing that I wanted to try was I was going to show you guys what happens when you break another portal. Oh, see? Five minutes, and it automatically shuts itself off. I'm going to show you what happens when you break another portal. If another, if another portal, nether portal, I'm gonna see, I'm gonna show you what happens if you break a stargate. If a stargate is in mid connecting, like if it's already connected and it's in mid portal, you can break it. It's not advised, but you can break it. And I'm gonna show you why it's not advised. Because when you break it, this is what happens a giant explosion occurs. And it ruins all of your stuff. And it causes giant fires to blow up and stuff. Amazing. Amazing. Okie dokie. There's one last thing that, uh, before the fishing rod. Stargates and stargate pieces can spawn... And stargate blocks can spawn naturally throughout the world. St whole stargates. You can find a whole stargate in a hidden cavern or whatever. Um, so I'm going to be looking for one of those, and I'm also going to show you another cool feature that the Stargate has. That you can open a Stargate and place down a camouflage for the bottom of it. So if you have a Stargate, and let's say you want it to be like this. Boom. Stargate. And also there's an achievement you can get with these if you... There's an achievement if you take... Quartz and stone bricks. Let me find the stone bricks. And not stone brick monster egg. Just regular stone bricks. Come on. Where are they? Regular stone bricks. There we go. 
Do I need more quartz? Okay. Right click. Stone brick. Really? Really? Stone brick. Block, quartz, quartz. Boom. I'm supposed to get an achievement. Anywho, let me go explore and find the dungeon, the default spawning nether portal, I mean not nether portal, stargate. Oh guys, I've been searching for about an hour now, <laughs> I'm getting really tired, and I don't think I'm going to find one, so if you guys can find one, awesome, tell me in the chat so you guys can brag about it. That I'm cool and you family. I found one and I'll be so jealous because I couldn't. And maybe, who knows, maybe I'll see you around on some server playing games. Maybe Stargate. Maybe we can do a Stargate thing and have some fun together. Who knows? The world is a mysterious place. Anyway, <laughs> thank you guys for watching. Make sure you and make sure you show some love in the comments, I guess. Leave a like. Don't forget. To leave a like you don't i'm not telling you to leave a like i'm just trying to make sure you don't forget to because you know this video is amazing and if i helped you just say thanks okay bye guys